Due to the unique design of the kettlebells, there are some very interesting drills that can be performed. This is a core stability and grip drill that will assist your athletes in learning how to stay tight under movement. It's called the bear crawl. And what Michael's going to do is he's going to get in position over the kettlebells. Notice that the hand is directly below the shoulder. Slide back some. It is not extended beyond the shoulder. Even though this lines up with Michael's eyes, it is not proper position. The hand goes beneath the shoulder. The abs are braced. The butt stays in alignment with the back. The feet are semi-spread. Michael will then begin to walk the kettlebells across the floor. On a slick surface, you could drag the feet and increase the difficulty of this drill. And take a break. One of the greatest risks and problems that your trainees will have performing this drill is the kettlebells will want to rock as they get unstable. The hand that is remaining stationary drives into the ground, very similar to the static stomp of the feet. It drives the kettlebell into the ground, maintaining its stability. So watch Michael as he performs one more bear crawl. The non-working hand, the non-moving hand, drives into the ground and stabilizes his entire body. And take a break. A common mistake during the bear crawl, if the kettlebells get unstable, the tendency will be to clink the kettlebells together and catch your fingers. What you have to learn is a safe working environment and the ability to roll out before anything bad happens. So if I'm in position and I'm walking the kettlebells and I get unstable, simply roll, let go of the kettlebells, roll out of the way, make sure you're safe, the kettlebells can bang together all they want.